Hey guys, I'm Mo. I'm going to be returning to the University of Arkansas for the fourth time. This is going to be my senior year, and that is insane because time flies when you're in college, so freshmen, enjoy it. Savor it. It goes quick. As you will soon figure out, we college folk are um, pretty good at procrastinating, and so that's what I have been doing up until this point. Um, I am just now starting to pack. I am leaving in a couple days to go back to school, and I thought I might as well try to get something done. <laughs> for you incoming freshmen though, this is all brand new, and move-in can be a pretty daunting day for getting all of your things into your residence hall, into your room. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys some tips on how things go and what to expect so you're not as freaked out on the first day. As far as packing and what you choose to bring, make sure that it doesn't take up more than like the space of a parking space. Like you will not be able to fit any more in your room. On actual move-in day, when you have a bunch of extra trash and cardboard to get rid of, make sure you use your dumpsters outside your residence halls. And make sure you use that instead of leaving it in the hallway because that can be a fire hazard that gets cluttered really quickly when everybody is choosing to do that. I am a big advocate for recycling, as you can tell. If you have trash that can be recycled, please recycle it in the recycle bins in your residence hall. Parking can be a little bit stressful at times. Can I get a retweet? But don't worry, if you find your RA or the hall secretary in your residence hall, they can issue you a temporary parking pass so that you have plenty of time to unload all your things out of your car near your residence hall and get them to your room. Once you get to your room, before you put any of your belongings in there, make sure that you check the room for any damages that you might see um, and mark that on your RIF form that your RA has given you. That helps us know what was already damaged so that you're not charged for it at the end of the year. Because you don't want to be billed at the end of the year for a damage that was already there. Make sure you check that thoroughly. If there's a damage in the room that you notice that needs to be fixed, like if a light bulb is out or if the air conditioning is not working properly, then you can submit a maintenance request online. So I think those are all like the main tips I wanted to let y'all know about move-in. Um, but I hope you have a great year and enjoy the beginning of a new chapter of your life is going to be so amazing.